So The Young Offenders stars Chris Wally and Alex Murphy and is written and directed by Peter Foote. So I know what you're thinking. Uh, those of you who know what this movie actually is, it's an Irish comedy and perhaps one of the f best comedies I've seen in all my life. And to be honest, this is my new favorite comedy. It surpassed The Kings of Summer, which I was very surprised at at the time while watching this movie. I was very surprised with it. And so this flew way, way under the radar for me over of last year. I've, I've seen almost every movie that came out last year, and I'm doing that already with this year. So you can kind of see how I would mix up that this is like, you know, an indie comedy, and it won a whole bunch of awards, and then it came on Netflix, and now it's here, and now I watched it, and I fell in love with it. Basically, um, I, I saw it on Netflix, and I read two reviews of it that were on Netflix, and they were really good reviews. I read the summary, and then I was like, sure, why not? I, I watched it as if it was clickbait on a fake news article, and I, I ended up believing everything that was going on in this film. So basically, we're just going to talk about the characters, what goes on, why it's my new favorite comedy, and just how amazing the film actually is. So let's talk about the actual film itself. So basically it's about these two teenagers who live in Ireland. Uh, I, I'm not sh exactly sure where in Ireland. I just know it's in Ireland. And they basically are these two thieving bicyclists who always steal bikes for some reason. And one of them wears a mask and the other one doesn't. And they just steal bikes. That's what they do. And in their town, apparently there was like a shipwreck. Or not really a shipwreck, but there was something on the ship and that something was cocaine. And there was barrels of it and it fell out of the ocean. And now... Now it's the town's biggest scandal ever. So the two teenagers being bicycle thieves and all, well, they figure, hey, we, we can do that. We travel. Why not go steal a, a barrel of cocaine and then become rich off of our wildest dreams? So that is exactly what they go off to do. So, um, but there, there becomes complications. So the cocaine is worth 7 million euros and that is a lot of money obviously, to any normal human being, that is a lot of money. So these two teens, they have pretty shitty home situations, and both of them only stand up for uh, each other, their parents, their, one's a drunk, one's a mother that kind of neglects her son, and, and that's just what both characters have to deal with throughout their home lives. And so they try to make their personal lives with each other and their outside world a more fantasy and unrealistic vibe that they want to give off to each other. So that's their main reason for wanting to go and take the the bale of cocaine that or the barrel of cocaine that's in the ocean so they begin to travel and they go to where the cocaine is but there's a complication like i said because there's this guy that's after them who's a cop but not for like anything that they haven't done before it's just basically for stealing bikes so you have your antagonist character who's chasing them on a bike while the two teens that are on bikes already are trying to steal cocaine from people that were just, you know, dealing what they normally deal with when it comes to cocaine. And so really for me, uh, the comedy really came into play when with these two characters. And what I mean by that is every time they're together, it's just a really fun time and you don't have to think about anything and you're just watching these two characters, which by the way, like I said, is based on a true story go through the steps in order to find the cocaine and they try you know one doesn't really want to do it at first and then once he gets convinced to actually go through with it then like just showing through the steps of how they do it is really funny to see so guys basically the uh the comedy for me really came in when these two characters were always interacting with each other and so like i said it's based on a true story but instead of seven million euros it's actually 440 million euros that's worth uh, that that's how much the cocaine is worth but the only difference is that like the cost and things like that and it is the biggest seizure that has ever gone down in their town and so now everyone's just looking after it but once they find out that all of it's been taken gone and that's not something that that's spoiled big or anything and they, they say that in the beginning of the movie and but that doesn't stop them. That's my point. They, they still want to go and try and find it and become rich and do all the things that they wanted to do that they couldn't before because they didn't have money.
So you guys, the movie is only an hour and 23 minutes long, and in every single scene, I laughed throughout this entire movie. Now, the reason I, I think I enjoyed it more than The Kings of Summer is, one, because of how many times I've seen The Kings of Summer, and I guess I just wanted something new, something fresh, but all the comedies that I have seen in the past, I just do not like at all. And then when everybody talks about that one movie where I didn't like it, and they say all the funny things that happen in it, I just don't laugh, and I don't think it's funny. But when an indie movie like this comes on, and nobody hears about it, and I think it's hilarious, nobody else knows what I'm talking about, and they think I'm just stupid because, well, they've never heard of it. But that's my point I'm trying to get. Big movies don't have to... Big movies that are comedies aren't always funny. But small movies that are comedies are hilarious to me. I don't know why. I just love the indie feeling. Uh, the Young Offenders gave me that same team growing up kind of thing that The Kings of Summer gave me. It was just more of a narration instead of just, here's what's happening, here's what's going on with these characters. And I really feel like it, the characters were very similar from The Kings of Summer to The Young Offenders. And... I also want to compare it to Train Spotting. Now, this for me is just Train Spotting, but not British and not heroin. It's basically I Irish, Irish, and cocaine. So that's my point. I'm trying to make. Yes, there are differences between both movies, Train Spotting and The Case of Summer, which I am comparing this film to. But they all have the same aspects, which make comedy for me very, very funny. And the fact that The Young Offenders beats all of those explains why that is my n new favorite comedy. So you guys, the events that happened in this movie took place in the year of 2007. So yes, it has been a w been a while since the events in that town have actually happened. And so for uh, for it to come out several years later and still being really funny should have a huge impact on the town and the two teenagers that were involved in this huge scandal. And I must say, every scene is a laugh out loud moment and has a wonderful soundtrack and has a 7.2 rating on IMBD. And for me, personally, I think that's a little bit low and I think it's a little bit harsh, but that's just because it's my new favorite comedy. So with that in mind, you guys should already know my rating. I am definitely going to rate this an excellency, same which I would for The Kings of Summer, but since that's not a movie we're talking about today or probably won't for a while or ever, I'm going to go ahead and say it's an excellency at all costs. This is a movie you guys should definitely check out. For me, I just saw two re reviews and I watched it and I loved it. So, like I said, it's like clickbait for a fake news article. Go watch it, guys. You won't be disappointed. And if you are, then you have just no sense of humor. So, thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick. This is The Tempest Productions, and I will see you guys in my next video.